how to create a classified ads website with Elementor. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own classified ads website on WordPress with Elementor. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come over to this website called cloudways.com and it's a hosting website that allows you to install wordpress for free now it does give you a free trial but after a week your account gets suspended and it, it tells you to upgrade your account because that is the free trial and the trial is over so you could come over to this website just simply sign up and get your wordpress website for free and you can get started and if you like it you can go ahead and upgrade it you can also use other websites as well such as bluehost or you know hostinger but they don't offer a free trial so if you want to experience it or get the feel to it first use cloudways and then if you want you can continue to use cloudways or choose whatever service you are comfortable with but once you have your wordpress installed once you have your hosting you will arrive on your dashboard now once you come over here this is the basic part of the website and over here what we're going to do is we're going to install a bunch of plugins that we're going to use later on in the video so come over here onto the left side navigate yourselves down to plugin section and simply hover your mouse over it and click on add new and once you do that it will take you over to this part of the website which is the plugin store and over here we can install a bunch of different plugins for free so first plugin that we're going to install is starter templates and this is the plugin right here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install this plugin all right and we're going to install this plugin right here called elementor website builder as well we're going to install that and once you've done that just simply go ahead and activate these plugins as well so activate elementor as well and activate starter templates as well so boom they're both activated now we can go ahead and create our website so let's go ahead and come over here onto the left side over here and underneath appearance you will see starter templates and simply click on starter templates and it will take you to the template section of the store and over here we're going to go ahead and install a template for our website and see how it looks like so we want a classified ads website so let's go ahead and find it and over here if you can't find your theme that you're looking for what you can do is you can come over to this website called wordpress.org and over here you can find themes and over here you can find them for free as well so these are the themes that we're looking for we already searched for classified ads and this is the theme that pops up so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download this theme so as you can see it's downloaded there you go now we're going to open the folder and over here we're going to go ahead and extract it and we already have it extract so this is it right here this is how it looks like so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our library over here we're going to go back into our dashboard and what we're going to do is we're going to go into themes we're going to go ahead and click on add new and we're going to go ahead and install the theme so i already have it installed but let me just show you how to do it so we're going to go ahead and click on add new and we're going to click on upload theme we're going to choose the file all right and over here you will find the classified ad zip folder over here just simply click on it and click on open and your theme will be installed and since i already have it installed i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on theme details and click on activate and boom there we go it's activated you can even customize it as well and once the theme is done you can move on so now that we have a website we have our hosting we have a website now what's next to do is you have to edit it as well and we have already have elementor for that so let's go ahead and edit the website all right so this is how it looks like in elementor right so we have our navigation over here so i'm just simply going to put that over there and this is the site currently uh, i think it's overlapping my other site as well so which is weird but it doesn't really matter so it looks really weird that is because we have different sections going on so over here let me just go ahead and make it a little bit more appealing so let me just go ahead and choose an image and over here i'm gonna go ahead and click on free images and i'm gonna go ahead and find a free image for me so i'm gonna here search for cars and once i have an image that i like i'll just simply click on it and choose that and i think this image looks good so i'm just simply gonna go ahead and click on insert media and once it's inserted we can move on so there we go it's inserted there looks good now what we can do now is we can go ahead and change the color of these texts so simply click on it go to style text color is going to be over here you can go ahead and choose that you can go ahead and make that white you can make that blue make that green whatever you want 
it all depends on it you can even make that yellow as well so really pop it off but i think white looks good so we're going to keep it white and we're going to change the color for this one as well so let me just go ahead and choose white there we go now you can even change the typography of it so to change the fonts or whatever just simply come over here click over here typography and you will have the family over here so right now it's currently the default family we have a bunch of different ones as well so you can go ahead and choose that give it a second to load all of the you know different templates so you can even search for it as well so there we go we have poppins so we're just simply going to go ahead and click on poppins as you can see that's how it looks and then we can even increase the size of it as well so let me just decrease the size there we go it all depends on you so you can even go ahead and make it bigger and go ahead and increase the line you know letter spacing however you feel like it you know word spacing as well so it all depends on you and once you edit just simply click on update so that your update will be saved and that's how you basically do it now it's basically a template theme so over here on the left side it looks different because over here on the left side they will have other ads for other people so other people are going to post on this website for their ads so their ads are going to be posted over here that's why it looks so weird you can go ahead and change all of this out you can just simply click over here and choose a section and just edit that section to your need and over here we have a bunch of different options and if you wanted to like add another option or like a video or something just simply click over here you know drag or drop your image or your you know uh, button or video over here just simply drag and drop them and it will appear over here as well so it's really good it's really really nice so over here as you can see this is how it looks like over here this is the video over here you can go ahead and edit that out for yourself it all depends on you and once you have updated your video just simply click on update and boom you're good to go and once you've edited it, just simply click on this hamburger over here on the top corner and just simply click on exit to dashboard and you're good to go. Now, what we can do is you have your hosting, you have your WordPress, you have your theme, you have your website. Now, what we need to do is we need to install another plugin, which is called a listing plugin. So it's, we're going to need its help to add listing into our website. So just simply search for listing and you will have a bunch of different options over here. So you have Google listings and ads. You have high multi-purpose listing you can go ahead and install that one as well so just simply click on install and wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and then just simply click on activate once it is done so simply click on activate boom we are good to go so over here on the left side you have your hive press you have your listings you have your vendors and then that's how you basically do it so whenever someone comes into your website they might you know make a listing and that listing will appear over here into your uh, listing section so over here as you can see these are all the things that are available in my you know website and that's all my you know vendor name over here we have a category and stuff like that so this is how you basically do it and uh, that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye